uh, let's guys uh, wait for other people's to join like uh, till 6 10 and then we start our session others could you speak like uh, can you have a chit chat like what are the things going on and uh, if you have any doubt and problem we can discuss here okay okay you are a uh, first uh, first time okay okay uh, welcome uh, okay okay definitely so bharat and others both of you guys are from which college uh, could you please tell yeah i'm from bangalore okay okay which college bharat AMP. Okay. Yeah, to VTU. Okay, so you are in final year? No, pre-final, third year. Third year, great, great. So how that? Uh, so it's the first time you learning about Web three, or you have ever built any project? No, no, it's uh, I'm new to this. Okay, 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 no worry. So others, uh, okay, you are from GN GNE College, Punjab. Okay, okay, great, great. So others, you have any experience in Web3? Like ever you develop any, uh, learn the things, what is Web3 and that kind? Projects and anything? One year, okay, great, great man. And Bharat, you also have any expense? Uh, uh, yeah, you already told me like it's first time. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's wait for the other guy to join and then we start our session from 6.10. Uh, you guys, uh, I have a uh, request to both of you. Uh, could you share to others, colleagues, uh, actually who want to join the session and uh, learn the things about uh, blockchain, Platon, how to develop and build the things? Uh, could you please share with your coding clubs and people who have interested in the Web3, want to learn inside it? Uh, basically, from uh, we are conducting the session for from beginner to advanced. So that's not a problem. Okay, okay, others, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, you are the first in the college, no problem. We absolutely start for beginner. It's for absolutely, we start from theoretical understanding, to uh, practical implementation, and we have a lot of session to cover. And don't worry about, we will uh, have the code, coding sessions, coding labs, and also the theoretical sessions that we are covering. And uh, other people, my team also joining it and uh, give you uh, deeper insights. Uh, Mr. Victor, so don't worry about that. We will take care of everything. You just have to focus and uh, following the things what happening in the session. So don't worry about that. Hi, Devish. How are you? Uh, Devish, I am audible to you. If you are not able to speak, uh, could you please uh, uh, write in the chat? Make session more, more interactive. And if you're facing any problem and the things, or you are a new joiner, uh, I can provide you more information about it. So don't worry. It's uh, like we all together, we learn the things, build the things. So don't worry about that. So could you please tell, like, uh, uh, are you from which college and which year? And have you ever experienced in Web3? Could you please write or if, if you are comfortable to speak, so that would be fine. OK. RV Institute of Technology and Management College in Bangalore. Okay, Devesh. 
uh, which year you uh, guy in which year in in which year you are okay first year okay okay great so have you any experience in web3 or new to just like having some enthusiasm to learn it okay 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 so uh, don't worry if you have uh, it's a good start point also if you do not have so much expense like we will start actu actually from for the beginner to the advanced level uh, first we cover theoretical understanding of the what is the actually the blockchain how the things and today's session is basically uh, deep dive into about the architecture of blockchain how actually blockchain made what are the components there we will theoretically understand and uh, then we uh, then we go deep dive into it in upcoming sessions also okay okay don't worry about any experience we have actually start from beginner so, uh, for completing your uh, complete your theory theoretical knowledge to completely your practical knowledge we have a uh, coding labs and everything so don't worry about that and uh, please share these guys these sessions with the other people other folks that can uh, join and benefit from this session it's free of cost and uh, everyone can learn the blockchain uh, uh, theoretically practically and uh, become a great web3 engineer whatever the dream you aspiring for so don't worry about that so we will start session soon just wait 2 minute more uh guys could you tell all of you guys uh, uh actually new uh, you it's your first session or this is your uh, your second session could you please tell uh, because if you if it's your first session uh, so don't worry we will share the recording of first session okay okay devis got it got it Do, no worry we will share the recording with you don't worry this is my second session okay bharat yeah in last session you are told that uh, you will share some course uh, uh could you repeat yeah courses some re recorded courses about uh, clatin blockchain yeah 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 boot camps yeah basically yeah. these are the boot camps that, that are done when uh, done by uh, victor long uh, uh, victor long is global developer advocate in the clatin foundation so they done great session so i will definitely i will share definitely i will share don't worry about it okay, you can you. you yeah welcome and you share with uh, all other folks who want to interested in this and uh, have a great session so let's start it i will share my screen guys my screen is visible to all of you uh, guys my screen is visible to all of you yes it's visible yeah yeah thank you so uh start the session today okay okay thanks others thanks everyone so this is our session 2 building on clatton learning the concepts of blockchain evolution of world wide web and blockchain architecture it is completely guided by chandka sarma me and victor long 
developer advocate at Clayton Foundation. So let's start, guys. So about me, I am developer ambassador and blockchain researcher at Clayton Foundation. Here are my social media handles, Twitter, LinkedIn, Telegram. You can connect over these over, guys. So what is Web1? Web1 is just static page, nothing more than that. Now, what is Web2? Web2 is more focused on dynamicity, like content dynamicity. Example of Facebook, social media apps, the time of social groups. That kind of application is Web2. Now, what is Web3? So Web3 is basically stand for interactive environment for all of the people who actually using and providing the technology in a particular environment. So you see here on my screen, there are a the lot of technology, artificial intelligence, 3D graphics, semantic web, peer-to-peer -peer network, enhanced connect connectivity, and ubiquity. So blockchain is one of the Web3 technology. It's not. So we cannot say that blockchain is Web3. That's the misunderstanding of the people uh, that I find from various sessions. So blockchain is just the one of the fantastic super technology of Web3. Let's move and deep dive about let us understand architecture of blockchain. So we have block, transaction, chain, nodes, consensus protocol. Let's move here. So what is block? Block is a collection of transactions and other data that are added to the blockchain. So we will cover why the blocks matter for the blockchain. To ensure that all the participants on the network maintaining a synchronized state and agree on the precise history of transaction. So we batch the transaction into blocks. This means dozens or hundreds of transactions are committed, agreed on, and synchronized all at once. So that's why blocks matter for blockchain. If you guys have any uh, problem and uh, have any question, so please stop me and ask. How the blocks actually work according to blockchain virtual machine? So this is the typical example of block. We will go deep dive into in upcoming lecture how actually blocks mechanism happen. We will little bit uh, uh, go deep dive into in upcoming session about blockchain virtual machine also where you learn how the blocks will interact with the blockchain virtual machine so let us understand uh, shortly and briefly here so this is the typical example of block so block is the kind of data structure presents in nodes that are connected to, with each other in a in a sequential manner so block block have the list of the transaction you can see here on the screen transaction T1, transaction T2, transaction T3. So these are batches of the transaction that is present in a block. So what happened when you just, for example, you are using some certain decentralized application and you just use it's one of the function and you just click on it. And after clicking, what happened? The whatever the state before the clicking present in the virtual machine or the blockchain is let's for example take it to world state t and after click on it it will update it to the world state t plus one that is means the globally uh, state got updated so this means that all of the nodes get synchronized at this stage following the consensus protocol so we will go deep dive into upcoming sessions more about it so let's proceed further so what types of blocks are present so we will cover what types of blocks are present so so there so there uh, so there are three mainly type of 
blocks main branch blocks side branch blocks or fan bl uh, branch blocks so main branch blocks these are actually added to the main chain containing validated transaction so guys actually could anyone please tell what is means by validated transaction if you certain know little bit about it adas devesh bharat you guys uh, know about what is validated transaction are you uh, hearing it's first time if you don't know uh, please have whatever the uh, opinion or the things in your mind we actually all of guys learning here so don't worry about it but uh, devesh adarsh okay validated transactions are the transactions okay yeah yeah so actually devesh it's what kind of transaction you know uh, know about uh, how many type of transactions in a blockchain a little bit if you know uh, and if you don't know we will uh, cover all of the things don't worry about it validated transactions are the transaction okay the way she is saying something those are verified by the system not much actually i am not getting your clear message uh okay i will tell don't worry about that let's listen and focus on the things so basically validated transaction are those transaction who are validated by validators and who are the validators what the work they done and how the validate they, they validate the transaction we will cover in upcoming session and go deep dive and i also tell you how you also guys become the validators for a blockchain how you guys become validators okay so uh, now you clear the got it the definition of validated transaction bharat adars devis you got the definition of validated transaction yes thank you thank you devesh bharat what's about you others please make it okay bharat also get others also get. thank you so much hey, guys if this is the actually learning sessions make it more interactive and uh, make it for worthwhile so more interactive in the session okay so we are guys here the uh, on the side branch blocks so these are the part of alternative branches or the forks in the blockchain created during consensus conflicts eventually resolve to maintain main valid chain now the orphan blockchain orphan blockchain i will edit some uh, guys uh, wait while okay subhashimita so, swain is also there welcome okay let's continue the session so orphan block uh, of orphan branch blocks are basically unknown parents occurring when the multiple miners find valid blocks simultaneously leading to conflicts orphan blocks are discarded upon consensus let's understand now what is transaction so guys anyone know about transaction subhasimita so, bharat adarsh devesh bhar uh, anyone name is left so Uh, please don't mind so anyone know what what is the actually transaction and what is the difference between web2 transaction and the web3 transaction if you don't know please feel comfortable we all uh, i am always help with you so don't worry about we all are learning so subhasimita so have you uh, have you heard about transaction and what is the difference between in web2 and the web3 transaction or you go uh, also deep dive if you know more about it in web 2 the transaction can be alterable uh, in web 3 we cannot make any changes uh, after transaction yeah bharat fantastic answer yeah and someone also write in the chat also okay 
they waste transaction are the interaction between one or more entities makes sense but what is uh, actually in term of technicality so in term of the technicality the transaction is just updating the updating the state of uh, the changing in the state from world state t to world state t1 that's actually we calculate one transaction happen on the blockchain network so now you got it my point what is the actually meaning of the transaction in technicality term so that means if the state get updated after following the consensus protocol it means that the things going fine no uh, validating or consensus protocol conflicts blocks get added to the main chain and transaction get happen and in the web3 the advantage of transaction is that we can verify it publicly and clearly see that the transaction is happening from whom to uh, to to which uh, to uh, one account to another account that can be verified by using blockchain explorer so we have our clayton blocks uh, clayton blockchain explorer you can verify i will share the links in the uh, in the chat box so don't worry about it uh, are you guys uh, in the pace following the things things are going fine okay okay there is okay thank you now to uh, now to we move towards the transactions more so what the actually when you are doing a transaction on clayton network so what information you are getting and what component the transaction will have when when you are doing it by using any application wallet or executing anything or the smart contract on the blockchain network so the components are value the amount of the clay in pair to be transferred to the account address that will be receive transferred value input the data attached to the transaction used for transaction execution v and rs these actually are the cryptographic signatures generated by sender to let the receiver obtain the sender's address no sense a value used to uniquely identify a sender's transaction if two transaction with same no sense are generated by the sender only one will be executed guess the maximum amount of transaction fee the transaction is allowed to use guess price a multiplier to get how much the sender will pay in tokens the amount of tokens the sender will pay is calculated via guess so you just multiply the guess with the guess price whatever had that time for example you can take this example here sender will pay 10 clay clay is the uh, cryptocurrency of clayton blockchain so 10 clay for a transaction fee if the guess is 10 and the guess price is 10 to the power 18 you just multiply these number and you can calculate now what is the actual the actual the transaction fee you are paying for particular transaction so we will go deep dive into the transaction how to do the calculations how the uh, what are the type of transactions and that things we will cover in upcoming session so don't worry about that this is just an introductory session about these topics so let's move on so now the question is came what is the chain so why we called blockchain is a chain so blockchain consists of a sequence of blocks that are linked together in a specific order each block contain a cryptographic hash of the previous block this linking create a continuous chain of the blocks the integrity and immutability of the blockchain ensure because altering a block would necessity to changing all the subsequent blocks on in the chain this process is computationally infeasible that's why highly impractical providing security and the temper evidence that's why the chain of blocks serve as secure temper evident record of transaction and the data so now we are Uh, now let us understand what is the node so anyone heard about node what is the actually node uh, have you ever read about it 
and lo lots of also now the ai is a hot topic and uh, blockchain so uh, i think you guys heard about it uh, a note anyone so vasimita others devesh bharat anyone know little bit whatever you know so what is any image of node in your mind what do you think about guys yeah uh, please try to make it more interactive if you don't know whatever the you know that's fine that's no problem bharat adarsh devesh subhasimita okay i will tell so node in the blockchain network participate by running a specific software nodes can be individual computers or the powerful servers on they process and verify the transactions maintain a copy of blockchain and relay information nodes are crucial for decentralized infrastructure and robust and religions now let us understand clayton consensus protocol what actually clayton follow as their consensus protocol so guys you heard about uh, anything related to the consensus like uh, bitcoin ethereum other chains what are the consensus ever you heard okay devesh could you please uh, unmute yourself and tell to all of one it's make like lot of sense to us and make session more interactive whatever you know that's fine Davis, uh, could you please unmute and uh, tell what whatever you know about the consensus, whatever the knowledge you had. Anyone, Bharat, other, Subhash, Mita, guys, don't be same. It's uh, for you and your benefit, and we guys all of our learning from each other here. So don't worry about that. Don't know, Bharat. Okay, no problem. we will discuss subhasmita okay others is don't know no no worry okay devesh okay can you just write up whatever you know in the chat write it in the chat subhasmita don't know okay people don't worry about that yeah 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 devesh so devesh will uh, writing in the chat so we will also know about what the devesh opinion what are the knowledge devesh have about the consensus protocol let's wait for the devesh what he will write and then we discuss more about it okay there is write up in the chat okay great thank you for that yeah okay so consensus is the process where number of validators verify the blocks of this mechanism help us to verify there no malpractice in adding the blocks yeah great great devesh yeah you done great job so basically consensus protocol is type of an agreement among us the validators who are validating a transaction adding a block for and also verifying that transaction all of the validators have to follow it so we will discuss let's go to the slide so consensus consensus mechanism in the blockchain technology reach agreement between trustless entities about validity of the blocks 
the performance of blockchain network depend upon what kind of consensus mechanism actually a blockchain follow clayton mainnet named cypress offers having certain capacity of 4000 transaction per second it's insane guys you uh guys you have any guess which blockchain have maximum transaction speed per second like uh, how many transaction can how the blockchain can scalable in a second and it can perform so many transaction any idea bharat others uh, uh, subhasmita devesh anyone like which blockchain have maximum capacity and why these transactions are important bitcoin okay okay ethereum devesh okay 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 so there is the lot of distribution between the transaction per second that is also depend upon state of the network but clayton having the infrastructure clayton having the infrastructure of that kind it can allow 4000 transaction per second high swans so means it have huge scalability guys it's have huge scalability we will go deep dive into these topics further in upcoming session how these transaction are scalable why clayton is a scalable blockchain and why we are uh, building it for upcoming developers upcoming engineers in the web3 era so basically let now discuss it will have immediate transaction finality one second block generation time guys insane insane for example i will discuss you with a, taking an example have guys you ever use any phone pay ptm uh, i think you are guys daily using in uh, these kind of app google pay any uh, fintech transaction related to the web to app swans bharat yes devesh okay 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 yeah so so have you any idea like uh, how much time a transaction will take to uh, uh, conducting on the web to platform like when you doing a payment for particular shopkeeper vendor or transferring the money how much uh, about it take time second yes yes there is great great uh, okay uh, now the new new preet uh, preet uh, hi preet so session is already going on so please uh, uh, join at time that's the request so you don't miss the contents lectures and things okay so so it means it take devesh uh, tell correct uh, told correct answer a second that's why but when you came the transaction are happening in the web3 uh, any decent like application or the wallet it will take lot of the chain take will lot of the time, uh, time to taking that transaction to finalize that transaction that's that's the thing guys web2 why the web2 and the web3 both have the gap in term of the speed of the transaction happening but clayton has solved this problem by their own clayton infrastructure it can finalize and generate uh, of that block time in just one second like your phone pay so if you guys are doing business in upcoming future developing some fantastic application and want to uh, make some fantastic infrastructure at from simple to complex level i recommend you just start developing on clayton because it have insane transaction speed it is made according to the business level enterprise level uh, enterprise level businesses and solve their problem that's why guys lot of chain take lots of the time to perform a transaction finalize it and that's why you know see that now the time there is the congestion problem happening in the network and that actually due to the because these chains are other chains are not scalable that's why clayton have their own infrastructure in and we built it that way our core team built in that way like you can just do more faster in after some time more than the phone pay in upcoming future so that's why like 
Platon consensus. Uh, so that's why the consensus protocol actually define how the transaction happening on the blockchain and it will also decide the transaction speed. That's very, very important, guys. That's very, very important. If your transaction performing very slow, it's not scalable. It cannot do a lot of the transaction. That's block, a blockchain network will not actually for the business's purpose. That's blockchain network not survive in case of scalability. That's why the lot of the problems are suffering in other scenes. I think uh, now you got it. My point. Uh, could you guys just cheer up and uh, send this? Like, have you any problem? We can discuss about it. Have you uh, got it? My uh, opinion about consensus protocol. Have any problem? You can just uh, ask guys. Preet, others, Bharat, Deves, Subhasimita. You got why the consensus protocol is important. And I will tell you about uh, what consensus protocol actually Clayton follow. Uh, guys, you ever heard, of, uh, heard about uh, uh, any con consensus protocol? Deves, Adas, Bharat, Subhasimita, Preet, uh, anyone? OK, Deves, Hydra. OK, so uh, could you please tell what, what the actually Hydra will follow consensus protocol? Uh, please, guys, make it more interactive. It's for you and we guys all are learning here. So don't worry about if you don't know anything. We uh, actually we learn together all of the things. So don't worry about that. OK, Tevez do not have any exact idea. What's about other guys? You have any idea about it? Uh, if you do not have any idea, I will tell. So don't worry about that. Make it more fun and uh, interesting way. And. Uh, Okay, Bharat, I also have no idea. Okay, Bharat. Okay. So, Basmita, what's about Subhasmita, others, Preet? What's about you guys? Uh, what's about you guys? You have any idea about consensus protocol or you are hearing uh, it first time? Okay, Preet, I also have no idea. Okay, Aryan is also joining. Uh, Aryan, it's so late, but please uh, join it at the time so you can get benefit here. Play, uh, please uh, consider my request. Join at the time. We already shared the link uh, many hours before to you. That's why, like, uh, you guys get comfortable and fix your time slot and learn the thing. Okay, so okay, I will tell actually. Aryan, do you have any idea about consensus protocol? Have you heard about what is consensus? Consensus protocol. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, I will tell. So, consensus protocol is uh, mainly there is a lot of type, but mainly three types. That in now until uh, till the web three ecosystem have first one proof of stake, proof of work, and BFT, Byzantine Fallen Fraud Tolerance. These three type of mechanism, consensus protocols, and mechanism are using by the validators or the blockchains, taking them as standard to validating the transaction, perform it over. That's why these standards must follow all of the uh, validators, all of the nodes in the blockchain. So we will go deep dive into each and every one in upcoming lecture. How the proof of work work, how the proof of stake work, how the BFT will work, and Clayton follow the BFT and why the Clayton. You also guys uh, uh, more said about uh, these. Uh, these three specifically, and in upcoming session we have a special session. Don't worry about. We will. Deep dive. Into each and every topic. Uh, giving the interview of. Uh, 
uh, as the position of uh, blockchain researcher. Uh, so recently, I give the interview there. And uh, the uh, interviewer asked these kind of questions to me. That's why, guys, a lot of people like the theory in the blockchain. And when they uh, come to for, uh, go for the job, they will suffer there because they do not have theoretical understanding. Uh, my voice is not audible. OK, OK, just just uh, just a minute. Uh, now, Devis, everyone, uh, my voice is audible to you guys. Devis, now it's audible. Uh, could you guys, anyone, please confirm my voice is audible or not? Others, Bharat, it's clear. OK, 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 Devis, thank you. Yeah, guys, uh, all uh, other guys, please participate into it because it's beneficial uh, beneficial for all of you guys. So these questions are asked actually uh, in the uh, inter intensive interview that's that we are discussing. So uh, that's why I'm saying it's not a blockchain or any technology, not about code, because code is just the part of it. Getting the conceptual understanding, whatever the interviewer asks in the meeting, that's very, very important that I faced and I have that knowledge that's i able to uh crack these kind of interviews there so from my experience i am telling to you these sessions are very beneficial to all of you uh, uh whatever the dream you have to become in the future so don't worry about that understanding theory then go to the practical that's very best way because a lot of the interviewer ask these things and people get like so uh, now i I, re uh, I request all of you guys please take a screenshot of it and give the answers search about them these questions very important and lot of question and assignment i will say don't worry about that so we will cover all of the theory plus practicality in both way in term of assignment quizzes and uh, we have the quiz in upcoming uh, week so don't worry about that and we also have the assignment and that's the homework question i will discuss you with you guys and i will ask to you have you searched about have you knowledge about, uh, gain knowledge about these questions so please take the screenshot and confirm me like we, we have taken the screenshot, guys. Please confirm. So question like, what is reverse? Bharat taken. OK, thank you. What is the reverse? Uh, Deves also taken. What's about others? Others, Preet, Preet Subhasimita. Subhasimita done. OK, Preet. Others done. OK, Preet. Uh, Preet. Uh, have you taken the screenshot? That's a, that's the question I will ask to you. And this is the most uh, important explicit content. So please uh, follow the things. And that's beneficial for both. OK, Preet is uh, OK. Uh, if you're not comfortable to speak, but it's better to speak, uh, you just can write up in the chat. And this that's OK, Preet, done. Thank you. Can you share the link of for connecting at last? Uh, which connecting? Uh, which connecting actually? LinkedIn connect? Uh, or social media handle? OK, 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 Davis. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I will say, uh, don't worry about it. OK, guys, uh, could you please uh, uh, turn, off, uh, turn on your camera? We have a selfie here. Please uh, take, uh, consider my request. We can take the selfie here. Others, Bharat, Devis, can uh, all of you guys turn on your camera? Please consider my request. We can have the selfie together. And also, it's share with your uh, social media handle. Uh, Bharat, uh, OK. Others, anyone, uh, guys, make it uh, this session more interactive. We are actually doing the effort for you. OK, Davis. OK, thank you. Thank you. Bro. Thank you. OK. OK. Uh, others and Bharat, OK, we will take next time. That's very important. So that's make more interactive I because you only see me and I am not able to see you. OK, guys. So let's wrap up the session. I hope you will enjoy the session. And uh, in the upcoming, whatever the dream you are pursuing, you will have benefit of all of these things.
so also uh, sorry for the things is that uh, actually we have also plan of open source session in this meeting but uh, uh, victor uh, have an urgent work so that's why like uh, he not able to uh, take up the meeting so we will definitely have the open source session on upcoming next sunday so sorry from uh, from our side uh, we, uh, victor has urgent work so that's why i'm very sorry for about that it will not happen next time so any doubt and feedback and suggestion guys what are the things you are want from clayton from us uh, so also could you please tell it's make uh, our community because you are the part of early adopters of the clayton blockchain in india so that's a fantastic memory i will also have with you guys so any problems and anything suggestion feedback you required from us and we have a great surprise for upcoming weeks for you so don't worry about that so we have the surprise yeah how the session devs actually do you feel like uh, interesting any feedback suggestion okay 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 devs we will take care boot camp links bharat requires okay thank you devs thank you thank you uh, others what's about you guy uh, why are you why are you silent actually make it more fun yaar we all are learning here okay devs others uh, Adas is why so so uh, so sai actually <laughs> guys we all are learning here we learn together build together so don't worry about we guys actually the part of the platinum community and building the great ecosystem in india and also uh, guys you for uh, join our whatsapp group and some of already you join uh, so where you get the notification about docs and i recommend you please uh, go through the docs if have you have you have the time and if exam is going on so after that and uh, uh, i will share the assignment and the quizzes and who will perform best in the assignment and quizzes uh, we will have certain for you so we are planning so uh, uh, i will give a update about it and the session is happening on same time same duration on uh, every sunday every uh, every week and please share with all other people guys that get benefit from these sessions and thank you so much uh, to joining the sessions and uh, uh, have a great day thank you so much bye bye everyone bye bye bharat devesh adarsh adarsh bye bye uh, thank you so much to joining us and please share with uh, others and make the clayton community better and web3 ecosystem better thank you so much bye bye thank you you are welcome bye 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 okay dev is asking for link okay i will share the link with you uh, just give me give me a minute uh, of linkedin okay linkedin linkedin i will share okay okay Uh, yeah please share these sessions with i am saying just sharing sessions with other people sorry for that my voice is mute okay 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 don't worry we i will take care of that man okay okay devish bye bye we will have the meeting in next session bye bye thank you thank you